And this is what you're gonna need to make your own DIY stain. I'm just using some scrap pieces of pine, a water bottle, a dish with some water in it, a little sponge, or you can use a paintbrush, a measuring spoon, and your paint of choice to mix. I like using the acrylic, but you can also use latex. So this mixture is two to one. So you're going to use two teaspoons to one teaspoon of paint. And you can mix it the two to one ratio for whatever project you're going to be using it on. You can mix more or less. And you wanna mix it really well together and it should be a real watery consistency. I love making my own stain and there's so many colors that you can choose from. If you were to go and buy all those stains from Minwax or another stain company, it would cost you a lot of money. This way you can get a really nice effect a lot cheaper. Now I like to spray my wood with a little bit of water before I apply the stain and we're just gonna just dampen up a little bit of the excess water there and I just find that the stain goes on smoother. This seems like a really easy process uh, and it is um, but there's a lot of new crafters out there and every little tip and trick helps along the way so I'm hoping that I'm helping people find an alternative to using a wood stain. After I've applied it all over the wood I just like to take a cloth and then just wipe off the excess stain that I've made and you'll see how the grain shows through really nice. Now I'm just going to go through and do uh, five other colors of different stains and you can just watch and see how wonderful they turn out. And make sure you stay tuned to the very end because what I make with these little wooden box is really cool. And the nice thing about this technique is if you don't think that it's dark enough or you want a little bit of a darker stain, you can always reapply until you get the color that you want. And there you have your DIY stain and each color looks so fabulous and it brings out the grain and all of the wood and it's made just with your stash of acrylic paint. Now I'm going to make these into little signs so I've taken them outside to my shed and I've given them a good sanding to give them a rustic look and I'm going to do my Mod Podge reverse transfer method on these. I have a couple tutorials um, that go more into depth on how to do this technique. I'll put the link below in the description for those and you can check those out afterwards.
you guys ever have something that has been in your shed or in your garage, you never really wanted to throw it out because you didn't really know what you were gonna do with it, but it was too good to throw away. That's what happened with this piece of wood. I have had it for a long time. Never really knew what I wanted to do with it, but I loved it because it was chippy and kind of fun. And it's actually, I think, off of a barn door. And today I decided what I was gonna do with it. So stay tuned. I decided today that these little blocks will fit perfect in each one of these squares and make a beautiful sign for my wall. I'm just gonna arrange them where I think the colors look the best and then I'm going to glue them down. And I'm just using some of my Gorilla wood glue and my hot glue gun to make sure they're secured really well. And there you have the finished product using scrap pieces of pine with my homemade DIY wood stain and I made them into little quote signs and added them to a piece of junk wood that I've had forever. And I think it turned out fabulous. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos. So if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.